In this video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide for the best settings to use in Apex Legends Mobile. I'm going to break down every setting so you can play like a pro and hit nasty shots like this. Or like this. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into it. My legs are ready to go. Some assembly required. Okay guys, so before we even start, for you Android users, I'm going to show you a quick tip to get 60 FPS gameplay on any game on your mobile device to make it run a lot smoother. First thing you want to do is head into your settings, scroll right down to the bottom and go to about phone. You'll see an option for build number. All you need to do is hit this seven times. If you hit that seven times, it will unlock developer options, which are basically some secret FBI options that aren't available on the standard phone. Once you're in there, you want to scroll down and find the option background process limit. You want to click this and you want to at most four processors at one time this will make your phone a lot smoother and it'll make it a lot easier to get more hertz on the phone as well one more option you want to quickly go for as well is force four times msaa make sure that is turned on this enables opengl es 2.0 apps and makes your phone run a lot smoother for gaming as well the next tip which a lot of you guys will already know already is you want to make sure that you've got no apps running in the background when you're playing apex legends mobile so literally you want to just clear every single app possible okay Unfortunately, there's no extra options for iOS, but for you Android users, use those tips and now let's get into the settings. Okay, so we've seen now that there are so many options and settings for Apex Legends Mobile, which are going to be confusing for a lot of you guys. But if you follow my step-by-step -step guide right now, you should have 60 FPS smooth gameplay and you will play like an absolute beast. So first off, we're going to start with the basic settings. Now we're gonna start with the firing option. So number one, aim assist. You guys can choose this if you really want to. If you're more comfortable with using aim assist, feel free to, but as we guys have seen, Apex Legends Mobile has some heavy aim assist when shooting at enemies. So I would advise to have this off if you wanna actually play a bit better, but if you wanna use basically aim bot, then keep it on. So it's entirely up to you what you wanna do with aim assist. Next is the bolt action sniping firing mode. This basically means that if you have it on release to fire, if you hold down your shoot Button, you will basically have to let go of it and able to shoot if you have it on tap to fire all you got to do is scope in and tap the actual shooting button to shoot so you probably want to have that on tap to fire so you can scope in first and then shoot using snipers auto ads when using a bolt action sniper basically means the same if you hold down the shoot button you will automatically scope in so if you want to hit fire then i would suggest having the auto ads off so this will avoid that option this is the exact same for shotguns as well in shotgun firing mode so i'll let you guys decide what you want to do with that but i would have tap to fire with shotguns as well just so you can hip fire with shotguns and snipers now one tap ads and fire is where a lot of people will get confused you basically want to have this off if you have it on this means that basically as soon as you press the shoot button it will automatically ads for you and you want to avoid that because you want to have a separate scope button in order to ads so you want to have that definitely off and then secondary fire button is basically the second fire button they use the second shoot option you guys know that there's two different shoot buttons on the layout you can see one here here and one here one of those is going to be one turned off you want to turn the one off that's facing northeast and all you need to do is just press check the box to hide or cancel this setting so as easy as that you're only going to need one shoot button on the hood so just turn one off and keep one on now moving on to ads ads mode is entirely up to your preference you can either have it to tap so as soon as you press the tap button you will automatically ads in or you can hold the button to hold and shoot at the same time or you can have it mixed so that's entirely up to you i use tap because then you could just tap once and you'll just automatically go into the ads now quick throw i would suggest having that on if you have quick throw off that means when you throw a grenade you'll have basically a line that shows you where the grenade is going to land so if you want to hold the grenade and basically place it where you want to land you should have this option off or if you want to just quickly spam grenades quickly you want to have the option on i personally have it off and in scope mode you definitely want to choose classic mode this means that you will be in a normal classic mode when scoping in using the ads gyroscope i don't actually use this so this is entirely up to your preference guys i suggest having it off unless you're a phone user and you're using gyroscope then have it on it's entirely up to you so i won't go over those options now if we're going into advanced setting options auto firing you definitely want to turn off you don't basically auto firing means as soon as your cursor hits onto the actual enemy and locks on your gun will automatically shoot you definitely want to have this off because it's just going to confuse you when you're trying to shoot enemies all of the other settings on the advanced setting options you should just keep the same as mine make sure your tactical ability and your ultimate ability at the bottom are both set to classic so those are basically the basic settings now we're going to move on to the gameplay settings. 
Okay, this is where it gets a bit more confusing. So, basically on gameplay settings, let's start from the top. Auto open doors. You want to have this off. This means that you're going to get a little door opening cursor on the actual screen. And you really want to practice having them off and opening the doors yourself. Because if you're trying to run away from an enemy and you open a door and go behind it, then the, auto, the door with the auto button on will basically just keep opening the door automatically. And you definitely want to have that off in this game. It is very important to open the doors yourself. Now, the ping button is also very important when you're playing as a team you're going to be wanting to ping enemies and ping loot so make sure you've got at least one ping button on the HUD as well. Map radar alert is entirely up to you it basically shows a little alert on the map when the, uh, the zone is actually shrinking or if you're actually in the zone. If you guys didn't know when you're in the zone it won't blink. If you're outside the zone you'll see the white circle start to blink so there's a little tip for you. Now FOV now you guys know that the FOV is quite important as well. I personally play on 110 FOV this means that you get a wider view of the actual game it feels a lot faster but trust me guys it's a lot easier to see your enemies it might be a bit harder to see them from far away but when you're up close you're definitely going to have the fov at 110 all of the other settings you can pretty much copy mine just there one mode you want to have on is joystick triggers auto run entirely up to you it basically means that there's a little sprint just above your jogging as uh, your sort of joystick in the bottom left you can turn that off if you feel like it's getting in the way and uh, I, I personally have that off myself so I'm going to turn that off real quick right now. And one other mode as well is climbing control mode you want to have on classic. This means you can have the classic climb and the convenient climb I've tested out and it just doesn't work. The vaults are really uh, sort of scuffed and laggy. So I'd avoid having that on as well. Okay, moving on to the advanced settings. There's only really a couple of settings on here that you actually want to pick. Smart healing items, I would definitely have on. Basically, it will recommend that the, the best healing item to use. This option is probably one of the more useful options. And I'm surprised it's not actually in the PC version as well so it means that you can basically just automatically heal with exactly what you need to heal up so it's, it's a really good option. Another couple of options you actually want to have turned off is continuously use health items and continuously use shield batteries. This gets very annoying when you want to use just one shield or one cell it will continuously keep using cells automatically so both of these settings turn off. Now zip lines are going to be very confusing for you guys okay zip lines are going to shoot you in multiple different directions even just going on them as soon as you get on it it's going to shoot you in another direction it's actually quite hard to get on the zips as well so just follow these settings and it will be much easier you want to have vertical zip line interact button off you want to have vertical zip line direction tips off zip line button settings you want to have those to hide unless you want to use those actual settings on the screen but I would have those as hide and then when riding on zip lines you want to have single tap on. This means that when you're running up to a zip line, you can just jump into it, press the jump button again, and you will automatically go at the zip. It makes life a lot easier. So use these settings. And then the last one is direction when riding on the vertical zip line. You want to have that off as well. This means that when you jump on the zip line, like I said, it will shoot you in multiple different directions. If you've got that off, it won't. It will just keep you facing the same way. And that's basically gameplay settings, guys. Now, moving on to the most important thing, display settings. Okay, so this is basically dependent on your device. If you've got one of the more low-end devices, all you need to do is pretty much put the lowest settings on. I mean, that's pretty obvious, right, is to have smooth and balanced. If you've got one of the high-end devices or even a medium-end device, you basically just want to have your FPS frame rate control on extremely high. If your phone can't handle that and you find that your phone's overheating a lot, switch down to ultra. High is, it says it's recommended, but it's still quite laggy on a lot of devices. So ultra or extremely high for FPS is exactly what you need for 60 FPS gameplay. And as long as you Android users, if you use my tip that I used at the beginning of the video, you'll be fine. Now, image quality, obviously that's to your preference as well. The best one to use is smooth. This is going to give you the most lag-free experience and it's going to make things a lot easier and you're not going to get as many lag spikes. So smooth is the setting I actually use. I use smooth and extremely high. And then the graphic style, you want to just have classic as well. If you pull it on different styles, it's going to make some of the colors change and some of the shading and it's actually going to be in certain areas it's actually harder to see enemies so you want to just keep that on classic as well and then there's not really anything else you need to change on here if you really want to literally turn down your settings to the max if your phone is really struggling to use this game and, and play this game properly you want to have dynamic shadows off anti-aliasing off character halo off and refraction quality off but it's going to make the game look very very scuffed and again you might not need this if you've got a high-end device but if you're one of the low-end device users have all of these settings off
Now, sensitivity is very important in Apex Legends Mobile. Off the bat, it's going to be very, very low. You're going to literally have to scroll across your tablet or your phone device with your thumb about 10 times just to be able to turn a 180 so you want to have rotation mode on fixed speeds this means that your speed is always going to be fixed obviously overall sensitivity you want to set this to custom and the first thing you want to do for you fpp users you want to have the ads i would say anywhere between 200 to 240 i personally play on 240 this means that in one swift movement of my thumb i can do one straight 180 and turn around same with the TPP settings, if you're a third-person user, again, I'm not, so that's entirely up to your preference. And that's all you want to do. If you touch sensitive uh, sensitivity acceleration, that's just going to make it even more scuffed. So you don't even need to touch those settings. The only ones you want to change is the camera settings. Now, the snipes... ADS, that's entirely up to your preference. I keep them default. The defaults are actually really, really good for the game. They Respawn seem to have got that cracked, so you don't really want to change any of those settings, and that's basically everything for sensitivity. That's all you want to change. Have your sensitivity between 200 to 240. If you find that you're struggling a bit, you can always drop it down or turn it slightly up. Now, control settings, I don't want to get into in this video. All of you guys are going to have your separate HUD. Uh, there's only one thing that I would suggest is having left movement fixed right fire fix this means that both of your joystick and your fire button will not move so they are fixed on the screen and then your custom layout i haven't done mine yet but you want to literally set this to however you prefer it again everyone's going to have a different hud but i will go into my hud on a separate video once i've got it all set up for you guys now, lastly, we're going to move on to pickup settings. Don't really want to change much on these, okay? Auto pickup, you're going to want to have on because it's going to pick up the most valuable items that you need. Apart from uh, armor suits, you're going to have to actually pick up armors yourself. Anything else on here, you pretty much can just leave the same. The only thing you do want to change is you want to change the frag grenades and the arc stars and the thermite grenades up to one because they are on a default zero, which means at the moment, you're going to have to automatically pick up your own grenades. If you've got these all set to one, it will pick up one of each in your inventory so you don't want to over flood it with grenades now again there's one more setting on here that's getting quite annoying which i find is quite annoying as well and i hope respawn can actually see this and make some changes on it when you're running over some loot any weapon you have without a scope on it will automatically attach whatever scope you've just ran over on that loot from a box there's no setting at all in Apex Legends Mobile to change that. So it's really annoying. You have to keep going into your inventory and switch the scope off of that gun. Let's say if you've got a Mastiff shotgun, if you run over like a, a two times scope, it will automatically put that on the shotgun and it could throw you off in a lot of fights. So I hope Respawn can add that option. Or if it is in here, I haven't found it yet and I've deep dived into it. So that is basically all of the settings for Apex Legends Mobile. I hope this has literally helped you guys out. If you have any questions, at all just make sure you hit a like drop a comment down below and i'll try to answer every single one of you and help you with any setting you need but use these settings and you should be running at a smooth 60 fps as long as you've got a decent ram device you're going to need a device with at least a minimum three gigabytes of ram if you're on android you're going to need at least a snapdragon 610 android and that's basically it guys i've been rambling a lot this video but i hope this guys are giving you some in this video is giving you some insight and thank you so much for watching i will catch you guys in the next one because i've got so much more content to come so peace out legends soon